My name is Edgar Albert Hernandez, and I am from Gainesville, Georgia. My parents are from Mexico, but I was born here in America, so American-Mexican. Very cliche, but since the moment I picked up a pencil and realized what I could do with it, it was pretty much, that was it. So really young, what inspired me. So my father actually uh, would paint murals in my room and my uncle would come over and we would do these drawing exercises where we all just pick random subjects and we'd all draw. So art was always something that was natural in my life. And then when I got older, I realized, well, not older. I, by the time I was in middle school, I knew that I wanted to die with the paintbrush in my hand. I wanted to live the life of an artist, pretty much. So, you know, I like to, uh, the way I do paintings and drawings, I'll do some sketches and then I'll look at references. And then uh, style-wise, I mean, as long as I can bring out colors and, and have people react to it in a way where you could tell someone who loves art did it, that's, if that's a style, then that's the style I wanna go for, the style of love, <laughs> I guess the best way to put it. Okay, so a backstory, the one I specifically chose this one was because, so I started this one this week, actually. I was, you know, picked up, I wanted to do a painting for the art show. And um, not only do I like animals, but I like to paint uh, dramatic scenes if I can. And with this one, I wanted to push myself and say, okay, how far can I push this? How far can I take it? And just how far can I take a painting and make it look like out of this world. So that's why I went all out with this one. This one took me about eight, nine, 10 hours. To me, that's going all out because I'm talking about sitting down for hours, not even eating at some points, just, just painting and painting and painting. So I had a lot of fun with this one because with this one, I went in with the little details. I took care of it, you know, I, I wanted to bring it to life. I wanted it to feel like you could feel the breathing from the tiger. I just wanted to capture that essence. So that was my end game goal, was to feel like you could see the tiger without having to get your face molded or anything like that. So, so I was in um, high school and I was already doing portraits, at, like already like at 10th grade. And so my art teacher was like, hey, I got a guy who needs a portrait and you're kind of the only one who can do portraits right now, even though we we're talking about, I was a 10th grader. So, you know, I didn't know how to price it. The, the guy gave me like 50 bucks, but it was my first actual portrait. So that was like, the first wave of like, wow, I can actually make some money off of this stuff. And so in high school, that was my little side hustle. I was selling paintings or drawing, well, mostly drawings for like 20, 30 bucks. And that's how I got to enjoy my weekends because I was doing little paintings and drawings on the side. So I did sell this one painting um, of Conor McGregor, which is 10 feet by six feet. And that was the first time I ever sold something over the grand level. And that's when I realized I could seriously make a living off of this stuff. So, um, yeah, so that that's what, I mean, that's not where we're, you know, but this piece in particular means a lot to me because this is my first attempt to push a painting to as farthest as I can. And this is just the start, I think. I, I want this piece to just kind of show, you know, it doesn't have to stop here. It can keep evolving, can keep turning into the, that's what I love about art. It's just changing, it's always changing, you know, so. Um, the transitions were a lot of, um, what I thought looked cool. So obviously growing up, I drew, I drew a lot of uh, the Dragon Ball Z characters, the anime characters, because I love doing all that kind of stuff. But um, I think when I realized that you first have to understand the rules before you can break them. And that's when I started getting more into um, learning how to, the body works, learning how we look underneath our skin, learning all that, the anatomy pretty much. So I have like sketchbooks all about just anatomy of animals and humans. and. You know, you first, I think it, I'm a firm believer you really have to learn the rules before you want to go and break them. At the moment, no. I mean, I have a roomie who, who wants to be a director, so that's the closest I have to someone who, who understands and loves art. But for the most part, I'm not really into like some big community, which is why I came out here. You know, keep in mind, I don't live in Atlanta. I live very close to it, but I wanted to come out and meet people. And I really want to surround myself with people who are like me, who love art. They don't have to do exactly what I do. I don't want that, you know what I'm saying? Cause then I'll feel like I'm competing with them. I just want to meet people who have that spark in their eyes because you can see it anywhere you go. They love doing it. You have this little glitter in your eye that just, you don't get with anything else. So I am on Instagram. Um, 
edgar.ahdzarts. There's a business card. You guys can probably take a picture or something. Um, so I mostly I post a lot on Instagram. I'm gonna start posting more on my TikTok, and I have a YouTube channel. Um, I have over like 400 followers or subscribers. So if you guys want to get on my YouTube channel too, because I want to start posting a lot more in-depth studies of my thought process of a painting. Uh, you know, just I just want to let people know that there's a face behind the art.